we will now study a few scaled diagrams for measuring bearings i have drawn few random points over here and we are going to measure bearing of b from a s from t and q from p to measure bearing of b from a what we need here uh, here is we need a ruler and we need a protractor all these constructions you are technically supposed to do with a pencil but for your reference uh, to make it more clearly visible to you i am doing going to do this with a sketch pen so i will draw a perpendicular north at a because it is bearing from a then join the distance between a and b keep the protractor in such a way that it's in alignment with a and then measure this angle so here clearly 115 degrees so i will write the bearing here as 115 degrees the next bearing that i'm going to measure is bearing of s from t for that reason i have to draw a perpendicular north at t because it's bearing from t then join t and s and then measure this angle which is in a clockwise direction to measure this i'll again have to keep my protractor at t in alignment with t s and then measure this angle so if i will measure this angle this angle is 55 degrees so bearing of s from t is 055 degrees the next bearing is q from p so we draw a perpendicular north at p join p q and then we have to measure bearing as we have already learned that we measure it in a clockwise direction this particular angle we have to measure now since we only have one protractor we cannot measure the reflex angle we will measure this particular angle temporarily in an anti clockwise direction by keeping my protractor in alignment with qp this angle is 115 degrees and that is why my bearing of q from p should be 360 minus 115 degrees <clears throat> which is equal to 245 degrees this is how i do measuring of bearings so in this video we have learned about measuring bearings in the next video what we are going to learn is we are going to learn how to construct the bearings so stay tuned till then your teacher sneha signing out bye bye